Hello, hello, hello everyone. This is Oliver DDP and welcome to my 2020 special year in a review video where I look at the videos I've made this year and rank them based on how proud I am of them or how bad they make me cringe. Now, before we start, I am not putting my remake little parody of the Luli Lover Soundic song on here because I do not count it as that important. I will comment that I should have left the characters as colored silhouettes at the end, but why well, can't take that back? Anyways, let's dig in. The first worst ranking, the bottom tier of the list, is my Corrosion PMV. Jesus Christ. I just making this sometime in 2018, which is why the art looks pretty dated. Um... And I, while I was, when I was first in the middle of making it, I thought to myself, I don't like how this is turning out, so I'm not going to finish it. And so it was, I had, had it on hold for like half a year maybe, I don't know. And then I decided, you know what, I want to do a PMV of You're an Awful Person. And after I finished that one, I was like, you know what, this looks pretty great. I want to upload this. But... I kind of, I can't have, I can't have you're an awful person without corrosion. It just feels wrong. So I went back, I quickly rushed and finished corrosion, and then I uploaded it. And I think it looks absolutely disgusting. I do not like it. It's very choppy, it's choppy together. It makes my computer lag every time I open up the project. So, uh, yeah, that's why it's bottom at the list. And, um, Kyoshi doesn't use a knife. I feel like I should make that clear. He does not use a knife. Why did I draw him with a knife? This, this is, I hate it. Looks so ugly here. Now, number two, number two. No, no, no. We're starting from the bottom. We're starting from the bottom. I should just say next. Next, we have. I am not pronouncing that. Um, I'm just gonna worry some. This took me. Oh my god, vocal crack, holy shit. This took me a few months to make. I am proud, listen, I'm very happy with like the editing. It's the art that really bugs me. It's the art that really bugs me because when I was work, the months that I was trying to work on this, the editing was fine. I was perfectly happy, I had fun editing this. It was just drawing everything and reusing old drawings that <laughs> Do you know how many times I had to redraw Komi's stupid sprites because I wasn't happy with them? At this point in my career, I was struggling with my art style because it looked it, lo it looks like gay. It looks like stupid. I don't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I'm happy with my art style now. It's just at this period of time, it looks like gay. <laughs> Also, um, I'm gonna say this when I, when, uh, we get to Karma of Evil, but, um, I am very, I am gonna retcon some stuff in Void, which is just going to be, I am removing the Ed's World characters from the story, because I am, I've been actually debating this for a while, doing that. I am not very comfortable having Ed's World characters in my story anymore. At all. So I'm gonna be retconning a little bit. And remove the ones which was just the future ed and toward and i'm just going to take them out and then replace them with my own ocs and also the two other ed's world ocs i had that were also going to be part of void are still going to be part of void it's just they're not they're not ed's world related anymore but don't worry komi is still a war criminal that will stay in uh, maybe in the future not next year maybe in the following years i'll remake worrisome and karma again just so i can um take the ed's world characters out Put in the other characters so um there's that there's that um other than that what else do i have to say about this pmv uh i'm probably a little bit exciting i rushed a little bit other than that art art makes you want to puke but i like the editing and i i was oh my god you have no idea how much fun i had writing the english lyrics for this oh i love dasu so much next is white happy um <laughs> My main gripe about this one is the fact that I didn't draw enough. I think some of the editing stuff I used for it, like the the heart, they look they look 
I don't like my handwriting. I don't like looking at my handwriting. It's gross. And, um, the cover. I feel like I rushed making the cover, because nowadays I spend a few days or weeks at a time trying to make sure it sounds nice. But, uh, I rushed really badly on this one. And it just doesn't sound nice. Also, uh... Yeah, that's... I'm just eh. It just eh. I'm just eh. I'm sorry, Sumi. I'm so sorry. Remaster that I made earlier this year. Um, my only gripe about my only gripe about this is the fact I have to take the Edsport character out of it. But other than that, it's pretty much the original one that I made. It's just the art looks better. I made an English cover with my own lyrics, and um, I don't know. It's just boring, I guess. Also, um, the artwork at the end of the video is also dated. Oh, is dated. Jesus Christ, I... Mm. If I ever get to remaking Karma, it'll be... It'll be... Um, I want to say it'll be a, around the time I finally decide to make to make the PMV for Master of the Hellish Yard, because, um, those two I really want to actually make when Void has a few pages out. Want to actually start working on the damn thing. Anyways. Next is Queen of the Glass. The only reason it's on here is, um... I don't know, I just don't really know where to put it on the list. It's it, it's good. I'm, I really like it. I really like how it came out. It's kind of just there, though. Um... I guess you can say if you look closely enough, if you pay close enough attention, uh... The Japanese lyrics are a little, um, off sync with... Off-center. Off-center is the word I'm looking for. Yeah, some of the lyrics are, like, off-center. And, um... I guess some of the effects I used look a little crusty, I guess, you can say. Um... Other than that, I don't really have much to say about it. It's there. I like it. Um... Next is, uh, SIU. Every time I look at this, I want to say, uh, uh, UTI. I don't know why. Um, this one was one of the, one of the ones that I made in, a, in like, a day. I like how it came out. Um, I kind of wish I made my own cover, but, uh, whatever. I kind of wanted to hurry up and get this out in a day. There's not much to say about this one either. I, I, I like it, though. I do like how it came out. Next is the Clockwork Lullaby Remaster. Okay, my only real gripe about this is, um, well, for one, I guess the art's okay. I guess the art's okay. I like it. And, um, I think it's probably just the vocals. I probably should have fixed it up a little bit more, so to speak. Um, the part with the TVs, I'm gonna start just using old footage like that more often instead of reusing my old art because it looks disgusting. So, um, yeah. Clockwork Lullaby. It's good. I like it. It's just not my favorite, you know? Next is You're an Awful Person. I had a lot of fun making this one. Uh, even though it was just lyrics on the screen. Um, I think, you know, I think I worked on this as like a vent, uh, at some point, I want to say around June, probably just June, late May, June, um, it was around the time I had broken up with my, uh, boyfriend at the time, and, uh, I'm still recovering, uh, as you can, uh, if you couldn't tell, I kind of took some videos down because, um, yeah, uh, not to not to like but yeah uh that's why i think june was my most active month because i really needed to distract myself and this song especially was something that i projected onto heavily kiyoshi is a character i heavily project onto as if i don't say that about all my characters but ugh. anyways i like i like how this one came out it's just it's not it's not my favorite but i really i'm really happy with how this one came out and the cover as well oh my god i loved I finally got to use Miku Dark for something. Come on, guys. Next is the re-birthday remake. Oh, I love this. Oh, I loved working on this. 
until I realized that I could have gotten the VSQX for the original version and not the uh, acoustic version. But I was like, you know what? It doesn't matter. It's whatever. I don't care. Um, I, I had fun making this one. I had fun drawing for it. The art looks nice. I really like looking at it. And um, Jesus Christ, this is the one that features most of the characters that are going to be in Void. Please don't laugh at me. Please don't laugh at me for having Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls in Void. I, here's a fun fact, I started creating Void when I was like 14, 15, when I was still in middle school. <laughs> it was when I started creating the concept of the story. That's why, that's why, that's why a character from Conjun House was going to be a main character. That's why Jackson Pent Shelby from Conjun House Supermental is going to be a part of the main cast, a very crucial character. And oh my god. It feels wrong to retcon a lot of the more important stuff. But when it comes when it came to Ed's World, I was perfectly fine with retconning that. Um it's not, it's not like the characters were that important anyways, plus I can just make characters to replace them, so like, who cares? Uh, even though I made- even though I made Loki, I am not taking Kokichi out because, um... The whole point of Void is to be a crossover fanfiction. That's why there are so many characters from things that I like in it. That's always been the point of it. That's why Charlotte is an Undertale Five Night Freddy OC. Oh my god. I spent too much time going on about that. The, from an outsider's perspective, that is pretty cringy, wouldn't you say? Whatever. Anyways, next time. I mean, next one. Next. Next one is Magical Doctor. Do you know how 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 bad of a headache I got making this? I think it took me like a few days, only because I had to take breaks. Looking at that. I, I do like it though. I like this song a lot. Uh, I liked working on this. I didn't do much art for it, obviously, but um, I like it because uh, it was the first non-void um, PMV that I made, and it featured one of my favorite characters to project onto, Sumi. Um, so that's pretty cool. I do like using bright colors for her, considering the fact that she is colorblind to the point where she th sees things in black and white, so that's, that's really funny. Um, but it's seriously eye straining, <laughs> so it's pretty it's pretty not epic at all. But 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 still, I I like this one. It, it, yeah. Um, Project Ma is next. Oh my god. I don't care if my art looks all thick, liney, and whatever. Oh my god, I had fun recreating Mario's original P Project Ma PMV. I had fun recreating it and then putting stuff from what I'm working on into it. Oh, th this was really fun to make. It was really fun to make. There was- there- there is a few little weird cuts in the video, but- but still, I- I really like- well, I like watching it. And I- I like the- <laughs> I tried to make my own cover, actually, but, um, file size was too big, so I just stuck with using Rose's cover. Um, if you can't tell, actually, Rose- Rose Red's covers, um, actually it are, like, huge influences on how I make actual covers now, so, um, if you didn't notice, that's pretty swag. So yeah, I, li I like the Project Mall one. I love Joseph. I don't talk much about him, but, oh my god, I love him so much. Honey, I'm home. I really wanted to get this out on Halloween, but I didn't. During October was a October was a pretty awful month. Um, I drained myself out from drawing a lot, but I really, really that month I was like, you know what? I want to do three PMVs, and it's all the Panika PMVs. But I never did them. I started working on them, but I never finished them. And I also was like, you know what? I'll just do Honey, I'm home. I don't care. And um, I. I didn't finish it in time, but hey, I got it out a week after Halloween, so who cares? But I really, I really do like this one. Um, I, I like it a lot. I liked, I really like drawing Comey's um, creator design. 
I think I think it looks pretty cool. And I also like thinking about the fact that she she broke she broke her morals up. Oh, I'll never kill anyone and just literally devout literally just cannibalizes her her ex-husband. It's pretty epic. Stoll gets what he deserves. This is so epic. Joseph becomes immortal. This is so epic. Crave is horny. This is not epic. <laughs> okay, now for number one. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. The only reason the only reason Chattering Lack ranked higher than Honey I'm Home is because um I personally like Chattering Lack more than I like Honey I'm Home. Um song wise. Um it's 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 I like I liked I liked working on this a lot. I <laughs> <laughs> I love these characters. I love Subi and Kyoshi. They're great. I I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> I, I loved working on those. I'm just, I'm just so giddy. I like I like how this came out. It's also the most viewed video on my channel, so that must say something. Also, fun fact: I really wanted to break this down, but the buildings I used, I actually got from pictures of buildings in my town. It's from like the main street, and I photoshopped the fuck out of them. Those hands, those are my hands. Those are my epic, epic baby hands that can't open soda bottles on his own. Yeah, that's pretty epic. The and and the TV, when Kiyoshi is flipping through the TV, I referenced. I did some funny epic references. Uh, I referenced Rebirthday, Clockwork Lullaby, Worrisome, Corrosion. And, uh, what the fuck is that one called? A uh, Magical Doctor. And then I, I, I did his little silly. I put, I drew Kyoshi and Sumi's original designs. Fun fact, Sumi was originally an Edsbold character. And then I created Kyoshi, Ki Kyoshi, what the fuck? I created Kyoshi, um, in a pit crew, like, last year. And then I was like, you know what? They both wear turtlenecks with stripes on them. I'm gonna make them siblings. And then I redesigned them and I changed their personalities a little bit. Um, and now they're gonna be in a dating sim. This is so epic. Um, but yeah, I love this one. Also, at the ending, you can see I referenced Corrosion and Magical Doctor yet again. I can't believe Sumi's a drug addict. This. <laughs> Alright, anyways. That is my ranking of my videos. I am doing this all in one take because I have a headache and I don't want to think about this. I don't want to think. Okay. Um, for future PMVs, I took a huge break from making stuff for Void, as you can tell. I'm trying to work on Seven Crimes and Punishments, the parody I made for it. Um, I will play a sample of uh, the cover I made here. Um, I just need to draw the backgrounds. Which is going to be a pain because I have to recreate backgrounds from each source that these characters are from. Excluding my OCs, I just have to make up something for them. Um, well, that's the end of the video. Uh, please follow my Instagram and my Twitter. Uh, I have commissions open. I'd like to make money. Uh, other than, I have nothing else to say, uh,